Hi everyone, Anthony here from Level Up Your Teaching. Today we're looking at Zoom. This video is part of a series of tutorials that we're going to do for Zoom. We're going to start with its most basic functions and gradually move to the most complicated ones. In other words, we're going to start by creating an account and then downloading and installing the software. So without further ado, let's get on with our tutorial. Now the first thing that you have to do is open your web browser. In this case I'm using Google Chrome. Now let's go on and type zoom.us and we will be taken into the main web page. As you can see there are quite a few different options here but the only one that we really need is that orange one at the top right corner saying sign up it's free. Let's go on and click it. We will be taken into a page which is asking us for our date of birth. The reason it does that is not in order to store your data, rather than just for Zoom to make sure that you're an adult. So let's go on and put my date of birth which is the 7th of June 1991 and click continue. Now here we need to put our email to sign up for an account. There are a few different options here. Of course you can use your email or you can use a single sign-on if your company supports that. Or you can use your social media, Google or Facebook to sign in. Now I'm going to use my email levelupyourteaching at gmail.com and click sign up. Now, at this point, Zoom would like to subscribe you into their newsletter. Now, if you want to subscribe, you can click Confirm. If you don't, you can click Set Preferences and you have three different choices. Receive an email every week, every month or totally unsubscribe, which is what I'm going to do. And then click Submit. Let's head back into the main window and you will see that Zoom is informing us that it has already sent an email to our inbox in order to confirm our account. Let's go and check my inbox and as you can see the email is already here and right in the middle of the email it says activate account and this is where we're going to click. From here we will be asked whether we're signing up on behalf of a school and depending on whether you do or not you would like to you can choose either now I'm not so I'll go on and click no and then continue at this point zoom will ask for our login details our first name last name and a password let's go on and put my details and then a password as you can see here, in order to have a secure password, Zoom requires you to have at least eight characters, one letter, one number, and both uppercase and lowercase characters. So let's go on and put a password which is safe enough according to Zoom. And then click continue when you're happy with your password. Here Zoom is trying to make you invite your friends into Zoom or colleagues but if you don't really care about that you can just go on and click skip this step. At this point Zoom is really trying to set you up for your first meeting and as you can see here it says start your test meeting in order for you to start right away. Now in order to do that of course we need the software and to do this we need to click on the orange button start meeting now. Let's go on and click the file that we downloaded in order to start the installation process. Now depending on your laptop or computer it will take from a few seconds to maybe a minute or so. Now I have a mid-range laptop so it shouldn't take more than 20 seconds to finish the installation. So now we're at 90% and you can see 
that it's going to finish pretty quickly. So there we go at 99% and it will soon finish. So there it goes. Now, as I said, Zoom is trying to set you up for your first test meeting. And in order to do that, it will bypass the login part. So as you can see, I'm already in a meeting and Zoom is asking me to join the meeting with computer audio, which means with my mic and camera. Now let's go on and click it. Now just for this one, I'm going to end the meeting because I really want you to see how to log in in the software. So let's go on, click end meeting for all. And as you can see here, this is the main page, the main window that you're going to see when you open Zoom. You have two options, join a meeting or sign in. Now we have an account, so we, ha we can go on and sign in. Now it's asking us for our email. Let's go on and type the email that we use, levelupyourteaching at gmail.com and the password that we created before. Now you can click give me signed it in case you want to automatically sign it when you open the software or not. Click sign in to enter and you will be taken into the main dashboard of the software. It can take a few seconds and you will see that sometimes if that's the first time you open the software, it can be a bit daunting. But really don't worry about it because the only button you really need to use is the new meeting button. Let's go on, click it, and you will see that we will be taken into exactly the same window that we were taken before. Again, we'll be asked to join with computer audio. Click there. And really, the only thing that you need to start and of course, in order to start, you need to invite your students or colleagues is the invite link. So the invite link is over here. You can copy it by clicking here and then just paste it and send it through an email. Now, one more important thing that your students or colleagues need is the password over here. Before they enter the room, they'll be asked to type this password. So make sure you include that in the email that you're going to send them. So that's it, you're good to go with your first meeting, all nice and simple. So that was the first part of our Zoom tutorials. In the next one, we will look at some of the more advanced functions like the redesign polls and the whiteboard. So that's all for me, thanks again. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, that's all for me, I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.